Meanwhile, high-flying filmmaker Kunle Afolayo has revealed that he is already working on the second season for the newly released epic series A New Kalakbo Rise of the Spectre. Even though the current series is barely a week old, during a pre-release interview with Channel Television, the director and producer of the critically acclaimed six-pack series said he already knew a second season will come and will follow a war theme. The loose ending of a growing tension between the Oyo Empire and rival village Ede definitely sets the stage for confrontations and battles in the sequel season. Actually, we've not written the script for season two, but I can start prepping for season two. Right. And then I started commissioning to say, look, I know we're going to do war, even though the script is not re written. I said, so let's start making props for war and this and all of that. So that is how creative minds, you know, are wired. Um, this is just another one. Oh. And, but I am really excited because this is my first series, right? And I've always wanted to, not like I wanted to prove something to anybody or I owe anybody explanation, but I've wanted to prove to the world that something of this standard, something this beautiful, can actually come from the continent. He also confirmed that he had to tone down the story and take out the sensitive parts to ensure that it does not rub off on some of the viewers in a wrong way. There is a bit in this film where I, I felt, look, if we go about this the way it is written, they will come after us. As a matter of fact, the Muslims will come after us. And I'm like, okay, no, let's change it. Let's do this and this. Meaning I am sensitive to, you know, feedback and, you know, human feelings and, you know, and all of that. Um, we are, again, we're storytellers, but then we, are, we have so much, we're giving so much power to like feed people. It's like some of, most of those posts that, you know, that you see on social media, people don't confirm where it's from and if it's authentic or if it's, and people just feed off it and then boom, everywhere goes off. Even when it's a Photoshop that they put somebody's head on another body, people don't care to actually look. You know, so there's so much power in visuals not to now talk of moving images. You know, so as, as storytellers, we have to be, I mean, we have to be sensitive, you know, to a very large extent. I'm not a revolution, you know, a revolutionist. I'm not, uh, I just want to document our history as people, as a human being, and at the same time, leave values that people can reference even when I am gone as a person. Thank <laughs> you.